The combine just showed up. We're gonna be cutting soybeans today. The same guy that does our custom forage harvesting has this combine. It's got a 30 foot head on it. We have some soybeans here at the home farm this year, which we normally don't. Some years we're a little bit earlier with soybeans, but we've had a little bit of wet weather, cloudy weather the last couple weeks, and it's been just a little bit slower. Soybeans yield about a third as much volume as grain corn would. So it's a little bit easier to keep after a combine like that. So we have this gravity bin right there and we're gonna borrow the other neighbors. We're gonna haul the grain to the grain bank right across the road. So my dad's gonna probably do that for a bit because I gotta feed cows right now, but hopefully I can haul some then. So we feed toasted beans out of that bin right there. That is soybeans that we send down to the grain bank. They toast it and then haul it back when we need it throughout the year. Dad's gonna take that gravity wagon out. So I switched places with my dad now. Just about ready to unload this. We gotta weigh in when we're full and then after we unload weigh again to get the empty weight. And they do a moisture test. This was 13.2% moisture. So I think that's about what we're shooting for. Pretty short drive back to the farm. I can easily keep up with him if I don't have to wait in line for a long time. It's a pretty decent sized combine. I'm not sure what class it is, how many horsepower. 30 foot head there, so it moves pretty quick. Before we got these guys in, we had a guy come in with a 15 foot head, and that was a whole lot slower. I don't think I want to unload on the go. This thing's kind of a small trailer. I do not want to drop any. Went on one small truck.
we buy a good bit of grain to feed our cows. We don't have enough acres to grow everything that we need. And we like to focus on growing forages because grain is a commodity that you can just truck in. It's easy to store somewhere else, truck it in. We do grow some soybeans. Uh, it's nice to rotate out of corn. We don't really want to be growing corn on all of our land every year. It's good to get a legume crop in like alfalfa or soybeans. Uh, I don't really want to do 100 plus acres of alfalfa, we'd have too much of it. So then we kind of left with soybeans. So that's a good crop to rotate in. According to his monitor, his yield monitor on the combine, sent 79 bushels to the acre. So that's awesome yields. Usually we figure if we get 70 bushels to the acre, we're happy. So that's great. So I just weighed in. This truck was here in front of me. So I'll have to wait a little bit. I left my tractor and wagon sitting in line down there. I grabbed this other gravity bin from the neighbor. Just gonna park it out in the field so he has another thing to dump into if he needs to. Got so nice this evening. It's kinda cloudy earlier today. Looks like he'll be done with this field before too long anyway. Then we're gonna switch to a farm that we rent. It's got 29 acres at that farm. Take the truck back and then we'll go get in the tractor again. Shouldn't be too much longer. So we're also borrowing that little truck right there. Right there, that's uh, some sort of hulk. Yeah, it's a red tail hulk, I believe. I hardly see it, but he just finished up the field. So he's gonna unload and then move over to the other farm. So both of these bins are empty. I'm gonna haul these over to the other farm so he has something. We'll get that truck unloaded then. It's pretty nice, except the tailgate in the back only goes halfway up, so we can't fill it quite as full as it could hold. I'm gonna hook these two wagons together. Should have pulled a little closer. He's heading to the other farm with the combine. He was wondering if we could hook the header up to our truck. Just pull it over that way. This farm, we had some weed issues in some of the fields. Hopefully it's not too bad. The thing about weeds is there's always seeds with the weeds and then more weeds the next year. Drop that there for him later. Let's see if we can get this truck figured out. I don't know how many bushels are in it. I think it was a bit more than the wagon holds. We tried to unload the truck and had some sort of breakdown. It wasn't dumping. I don't know if there's too much weight for it or what, but we had to stop that. So I'm here with the tractor. Picking up a load should keep me busy. I don't have the truck. I was hoping to have that available. Got some weeds right there.
but it's the next morning now. We finished up the beans last night, got all 45 acres cut. So we got everything hauled in except what's left on this dump truck. That wasn't working. So it blew a hydraulic hose, we're fixing that right now. Some of it flowed out the back just from sitting flat, but it wasn't lifting up at all. We got the busted hose off and my dad went to get another one. It just runs from that spot right there back to here, right behind this. So it's pretty easy to get to. We'll put that back on and hopefully we can go get this dumped without too much trouble. So we're gonna use the skid loader and just lift the dump a little bit just to help it get started hopefully it'll have enough power to lift it up now we don't have quite as many soybeans in as we did at first too so that should help so we took the dump truck down there and there's a couple trucks in front of us so we're just gonna let it sit i'm gonna take this bin wagon back so we were just borrowing this wagon from the guy who owns the combine we're gonna unload this truck now if we can He's helping me lift it up. We're getting it. Gotta go weigh and empty and then we'll take this truck back. It's nice to see a clean soybean field. So we're officially done with harvest for the year. It's a good feeling. So now that we got everything hauled in, I was looking at our total bushels and we averaged right around 76 bushels of the acre. All of this was double cropped after we took off tray cow in the spring. So it's pretty much full season beans, but we did get that uh, spring forage crop off of it first. So that's, that's a productive year, I would say. All right guys, catch you in the next one.